Hi everyone, I'm KSFK. BA Radiant Dawn invited me to share my favourite unit from 2021, so I'm going to do that. But since I'm a video essayist, I feel the non-binary urge to be extremely esoteric about it, so this might get a little weird. Legendary Lena would have easily been my pick if she were released literally one single week later, so I had to do a little more thinking about my favourite unit of 2021. To make things interesting, I'll go over my thought process since I'm not sure I have enough to say about my final choice to really justify this entire segment. I flicked through the unit catalogue for this year and picked out a few units to narrow down. Asbel, Orson, Dagger, Knot, Catriafia, Shanna, Juno, Sigurd and Kaspar. A lot of these units I like because of their aesthetics. For example, Juno was my most wanted character in Farm Home Heroes for this year and many years prior, and I'd always dreamed of having her and Zella as wedding heroes. Asbo is my favourite unit from Fraser 776, he is such a good boy, and Kaspar strikes a chord in me because he shares a voice actor for a character that people who know me might be familiar with. Beside these three though, the other units had a thin red line that linked them together, and it was something that, until 2021, I didn't realise I desperately needed to enjoy many units. These units have, in one way or another, a quality intrinsic to their gameplay design that can't or hasn't been replicated by another unit in the game. Or, I guess in layman's terms, a gimmick. 2021 was not a particularly great year for unit diversity, IMHO, and mostly used the density of what a unit can be able to do as a substitute for making them unique or fun. When Faye wasn't releasing units who could squash entire approaches of safer skills or units who quad you because they exist, it was releasing units who have skill descriptions that list Kanto 2 plus attack speed defense res plus 5 plus unit can counter attack regardless of distance plus accelerate special cooldown trigger plus ratio plus you fell off plus kill close plus active plus new hand equals that. And I wasn't necessarily okay with that. It kind of felt like Intelligent Systems was boiling the game down to its bare essentials, aka bigger number. Fire Realm Heroes is a strategy game, so I can't help but wonder what is the fun in a strategy game where the new characters are encouraged to throw themselves into enemy territory, kill a unit, and cantle out for free, or in Fallen Edelgard's case, kill upwards of three units and leave completely unscathed. So I narrowed my criteria down even more. I wanted a unit who was fun, had an interesting and unique gameplay design, and still kept the heart of Faye's strategy gameplay in said design. I think it's safe to say that when I decide on favourites with such a narrow criteria, I would finally have the one unit I desperately wanted to share. Orson Passion's Folly. From the lineup of units I was picking between, plus just the units I like to use in general, you can probably make the educated assumption that I'm a GBA Fire Emblem enjoyer, and not only would you be right, but I would go as far as to say that Orson is probably my favourite villain from that trilogy of games, maybe even the entire franchise. Orson Passion's Folly, or simply just Fallen Orson, is a unit that I not only wanted, but Hard Guest has released in the game and insisted upon it for months, right down to the likelihood of him being a Grail unit. He utilises a unique PRF weapon that, at a cursory glance, is pretty similar to fellow fallen hero female Corrin, which forces him to function in a way that quite literally no other unit in the game wants to do, by not having a single unit within two spaces. Now, to dissuade any misinterpretation, I should clarify that I am not saying Orson is my favourite unit solely because he has a cool weapon that does a unique gimmicky thing. If this weapon were on a unit like Orochi, I wouldn't suddenly think that it's a cool decision. In fact, I might be inclined to say that it's dumb and stupid, end quote. To put it simply, there is no unit in this game who can pull off this gimmick with Orson, because the unit with the gimmick being Orson is probably the best part. I'm about to spoil Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones, so if you don't want to be spoiled for a game that came out 17 years ago, you can go skip this timestamp. Also just play FEA. In the story of Sacred Stones, Orson is a knight of Rene who is known for having a deep loving devotion to his wife Monica. Monica McFucking dies, and he betrays Rene in favour of Grado in exchange for the Grado Empire resurrecting her. In chapter 16, Orson is given the title of the new King of Rene, and despite this, he is too busy lovingly tending to his now literal zombie of a wife in his chambers to actually care about looking after the territory he now rules over or even eat meals. Orson is a character who, notably, left everything behind just to be with his wife and refuses to associate with anyone or anything else. When he fights, he does so only because he knows that he'll return to Monica after he's done. And that's why Bereft Lance works. That's why Fallen Orson works. 
It's not just putting a fallen unit into the game because people want to see their fave with purple fart fire and a couple of busted PRF effects. This unit tells a goddamn story. He's so balanced, authentic, and him that to me, it would feel wrong to give him any other weapon, even if it might make him more meta by doing so. If I run Stout Lance on Orson, I may as well run Roche. If I run Springy Lance on Orson, I may as well run Minerva. In any moment I'm running Bereft Lance, the way I'm playing, the way the game wants me to play, that's Orson. That's unequivocally Orson. And to see my favourite Fireman Villain represented in a way that only he could pull off just makes me happy, it makes me fulfilled, and I suppose it does also make me recognised as the My Wife Is Dead, thanks Fedison. Just before I end off, I want to quickly self-plug and say that if you like my segment in this video, please consider checking me out on my own channel, Chaos, where I often make video essays kinda sorta similar to this segment. And the same applies to literally any other creator in this video, our links are in the description. Thanks, be excellent to each other and party on dudes, TTYL.